Hello and welcome to our guide to servicing the ATAG i-Series boiler. This film includes removing the burner hood, taking the burner out, burner seals required to be replaced, visual inspection of the Icon heat exchanger and removing the condensate trap. Firstly we advise the interim service inspection with a flue gas analyzer. A full strip down service is recommended at a regular four year intervals, even when the analyzer reading is okay or where the analyzer reading are not within the correct safety parameters on all other years. In order to perform a full strip down service, you need to follow these steps. Firstly, switch off the electrical power to the boiler. Next, remove the screws from the top of the fasteners on top of the boiler. Then, unlock the fasteners and remove the cover in a forward motion. Remove the earth cable, where present, from the cover. Test for safe isolation of electricity with the multimeter. Now we're going to remove the fan unit and burner hood and expose the combustion area of the Icon heat exchanger. Remove the Velcro fastening from the silencer and remove the silencer. Next, release the coupling nut of the gas pipe on the left hand side of the gas valve. Then, disconnect the electrical connections from the fan. Turn the right and left hand clamp bars a quarter of a turn with a 4mm Allen key and pull these out in a forward motion. Now lift the complete fan unit and the burner hood off the heat exchanger and remove it in a forward motion. Turn the unit upside down and remove the burner cassette from the burner hood. Check the burner cassette for any wear and tear, pollution and any breakages. Clean the burner cassette with a soft brush and a vacuum cleaner. In case of breakages, always replace the complete burner cassette. After removing the burner cassette, the non-return valve becomes visible. Check the non-return valve entire circumference closes or seals completely. The valve should be able to move freely from a fully open to a fully closed position. Replace the non-return valve if the valve does not seal properly. Replace the gasket between the burner hood and the upper casing. Replace the gasket between the upper casing and the heat exchanger. Check the venturi on the fan for pollution and clean with a soft brush in combination with a vacuum cleaner if necessary. If the inside of the burner casing is heavily polluted with dust, it is likely that the fan impeller is also polluted. To clean the fan, it has to be removed from the upper tray. Clean the impeller with a soft brush and a vacuum cleaner. Replace the gasket and take care that the new gasket is installed properly when reassembling the fan parts. Check the heat exchanger for pollution. Clean it if necessary with a soft brush and a vacuum cleaner. Avoid any pollution falling down. Please note, top flushing of the heat exchanger is not allowed. Reassembly takes place in reverse order. The condensate trap also needs to be checked. To do this, firstly release the control unit forwards. Turn and pull the sealing clip downwards. Turn the condensate trap securing clip anti-clockwise. Next, pull the condensate trap and the inner tube downwards. Clean the parts by rinsing them in water. Then, refill the siphon with 150 millimeters of water. Finally, reassemble in reverse order. After each service, you need to test the boiler with an analyzer to confirm the correct combustion levels before completing the relevant service interval record section of the benchmark checklist. 